Natasha's favorite foods is butter chicken. And usually we don't have any chicken, but we do tonight. And I made butter chicken. Why are you so happy about dinner tonight? Because it's not tempeh. So last night we left at about 10 p.m. Down where we were at the Snake Island down here. And we've come all the way to here today. And then we're going to go up to here. It's 12 hours away to here. We're sailing! Come on, let's run to school. Something come between us. I promise I will stay. Even when we're treading water. The colors seem to fade You know the truth of it is I was scared to move forward But now that I've made my way in I will not turn away You look really majestic though with that sunlight Everything I am Through the better and the sweet the rod finally went off and Bella was keen to bring this one in. But about five minutes in, she was having second thoughts. It's our part of one. Go, babe. You got it. It's a bit awkward, <laughs> isn't it? I find it really hard. <laughs> she got some strength back, and with tips from Dad, she powered on, determined to get this fish aboard. Lost, looking for you up in the stars. While I After a very long and tiring struggle, Bella pulled in a beautiful little tuna. It's a chain reaction. It comes in spurts. The tuna is brained and bled and held for a photo, of course. Then fill it up by the captain. Then made into dinner. Some vegetable fried rice knocked up. Add avocado and cooked tuna and voila. How you feed a hungry crew aboard Catalpa. Give you a bit of an idea on um, some of the charts, how far out they can be. We're up in the Telos and we're coming between two islands at the moment. Um, one of the main channels here. I'll show you on the main head unit here. You can see I'm coming across the land. And you can see here I'm sort of centering myself on the um, radar. And just before how I showed the satellite imagery, that's sort of pretty much what I'm going off. But just to give you an idea on the charts, like you can see where I've entered here, like the entry over here, you would think. But um, yeah, straight over the land. So I'm just taking my time, keeping an eye on all three things. Satellite imagery, radar, and the charts that are way out. It comes in spurts, so let's keep this moving. The only bit of a spot here I've got is just the clouds. Um, but when you do load up the Google Earth, you can check through the historical. It's 
history to see if you can get a better picture, but that's all that was available for this area. And our iPad with the GPS on it has died. So we have another iPad, but we don't have a GPS on it. So all I've got is the backup open CPN, which is, yeah, really handy. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get through it here. Lee navigated his way through beautifully. We arrived at an anchorage in Matello's Islands. There was a bit of weather coming in, so we stopped here. As I walk this road, with my heart on my sleeve, in the darkest night. The islands were incredible. Our curiosity got us exploring immediately, and we were glad we anchored up Catalpa safely, looking at this guy. We met a local guy who said to come ashore for some coconuts. Nice guy that looks after this place. He didn't speak much English and our Indonesian was enough to have a small conversation. So we just uh, went over and got some coconuts off the guys over there. But we were sitting over there and uh, one of the, the young guy came over and he had bites, like big bites, like massive big welts all over him um, from the bees in the kalapa tree, in the coconut trees. Um, they collect honey. So we just brought him out to the boat and uh, put some calamine lotion all over him just to soothe it because he was really irritated, like it was obviously hurting. No, really big stings, poor guy. But we gave him a bit to take with him and I think he was appreciative of, uh, of soothing it. I know it soothes. I've had bites before and it really does help, so. Anyway, we just had a swim and just got some coconuts and there's a bit of a storm or squall coming through. But I think we're gonna have a sleep here and then we'll move on tomorrow. It's a nice place. So poor Rami, hopefully he feels better now with all his calamine on. That was a big sting. Did you see the holes he had like, in him? Like that, but with a big hole in the middle. Oh, it was, would have been in some pain. Yeah. Okay, so there's these tropical worms that come on your boat. They grow big, they're white and a bit yellow. So let's go looking for one, okay. 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 Usually under lots of um, pans and stuff. And under here. Oh yes, this is one. Do we have it? All right. Whoa, it's slippery. It's a slippery one. Whoa. So disgusting, she's gross. So the guys just came over that um, we went and saw yesterday and they're having trouble with the motor. So Lee is going to go and help. We'll have a swim too before we leave. We're actually just about to leave and they came over. And I guess they thought Lee looked handy. How did they know? Attachment that usually springs out to oh, anything. Lee opened it up and found the problem pretty quick. Explaining it though was a tricky part. Magic.
stoked it was running again. It felt good to be able to help out. gifted some more coconuts and met these kids. And later we learned that they lost their father one year ago in a fishing accident. had some kids clothes and shoes back on Catalpa so we made a quick trip back out and gifted these to their mum, a beautiful woman who is now raising four kids on her own. She was really grateful and again it felt good to be able to help in a small way. And though we couldn't communicate through many words, kindness is universal and I love that we get to experience this so often. Acts of kindness don't have to be big and I hope as we continue to travel we can help others along the way paying it forward as we receive so much kindness in our own lives. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so very much. It all comes all thanks to you all. Up next. She's built herself a raft. Why is that we just crossed the equator? See me, guys? Here we are. There it is. It's alive. North of the equator. Woo! <laughs> a little bit of Captain Morgan for King Neptune. Remember, guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.